Hello, I'm Michael Amar. You've just seen a sample of the reactions you'll receive as you perform the magic I'm about to share with you now. For every effect which qualified for inclusion on this series, hundreds of effects were read, performed, and then cast aside in an attempt to give you the finest collection of easy-to-master card magic ever assembled on video. Our objectives were to select simple, yet powerful effects, material that beginning-level magicians could attain, yet strong enough to be included in any professional repertoire. Because our criteria for selection was so carefully constructed, all you'll need is a small handful of the effects from this series, and you'll be able to astonish people. Each learning segment will begin with a performance set that combines two or three effects that work together well. Following the performance segments, you'll learn exactly how to perform the effect just as you've seen it, along with the insights beyond the techniques that make these effects classics. Perhaps you, like many others, will consider these to be the real secrets to achieving the desired effect. <laughs> you know, now, it's always nice to see people that enjoy magic. Sometimes people get frustrated by it. I mean, and they feel challenged by it. The most challenging situation that I ever faced, I was in a bar, and I, I'm showing a guy some magic tricks, right? Uh, pull out a card for me, if you would, and show it to everybody. Okay, I won't look. It's not that kind of a trick. And we'll put the card back into the center of the deck. You'll remember what the card is, won't you? Yep. Okay, now at this point, I'd just gotten to this point in the trick, and a guy says, no, wait, wait a minute, I want to shuffle the cards. You know, that's not that big a deal. I said, okay, you go ahead and shuffle the cards. And he said, but I don't want you to look. Turn around. I don't want you to look. Okay, so I turned around. Now, here's what the guy did, and this is what made it such a challenging situation. He didn't just shuffle the cards. What he did is he took half the cards face up and half the cards face down, and he shuffled face up into face down. Nice smooth shuffle all the way so that you can see almost every card interlaced face up into face down. Now, that creates quite a mess as you can imagine, okay? Give the cards a cut just like this. Now he says, he turns around and says, now find my card. But I didn't know anything that had happened up to this point. So I turned around and I said, well, okay. And I realized that the cards were face up and the face down, cards literally facing in every direction. It's the most challenging situation I'd ever been in. But here's exactly what I did. All I did is I squared the cards up like this, and I cast a shadow over the deck. That's all I did. And when I fanned the cards out, every single card had righted itself, except for one <laughs> card one no card way. only, <laughs> right in the center of the There's deck. There's no way. <laughs>